Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be solving an intricate equation. So what we have here is x minus 1 over x to the power of 3 plus x minus 1 over x is equal to 30. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start out by letting x minus 1 over x equal to the variable m. Because notice how we have x minus 1 over x over here and x minus 1 over x over here. And whenever you're solving equations like these, whenever you find two matching terms, the easiest thing to do is to just set them equal to a vari variable so that you can simplify the equation. So now, I have m to the power of 3 plus m is equal to 30, and this is much more simpler. And if I subtract 30 on both sides, I get m to the power of 3 plus m minus 30 is equal to 0. Now, I want to factor this, and the best way to factor this is to rewrite negative 30 as negative 27 minus 3. And the reason I'm doing this is because negative 27 is the same thing as negative 3 to the power of 3. So notice how I have a power of 3 over here, a power of 3 over here, and then a power of 1 over here, and a power of 1 over here. So if I match these two, this is what I end up with. Now, I'm going to be using an exponential property. And this property states that if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So m to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 turns into m minus 3 times m squared plus 3m plus 3 squared, which is 9. And I have this plus m minus 3 is equal to 0. So. Now from here, notice how I have two terms with m minus 3 in them. So the best thing I can do here is factor out m minus 3. So now I get m minus 3 times m squared plus 3m plus 9 plus 1 is equal to 0. And this turns into m minus 3 times m squared plus 3m plus 10 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have m minus 3 is equal to 0, and m squared plus 3m plus 10 is equal to 0. Now for m minus 3 equals 0, I can add 3 on both sides, and I get m is equal to 3. And now for m squared plus 3m plus 10 equals 0, this is a quadratic equation. So to solve this, what I'm going to do is use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And you should always use this formula for quadratic equations that don't factor out with whole numbers, such as in this case. So now to solve this, first off, a is 1, b is 3, and c is 10. So I get m is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10 all over 2 times 1. And this is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 40 over 2. which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 31 over 2. Now, the square root of negative 31 is equal to the square root of 31 times the square root of negative 1. And the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imaginary number i. So, I get m 
is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 31i over 2. So these are two more solutions for m. So let me write down my solutions for m here. I have m is equal to 3. m is equal to negative 3 plus the square root of 31i over 2. And m is equal to negative 3 minus the square root of 31i over 2. Now, what we're going to want to do is find the values of x using these values of m. So going back here, recall how x minus 1 over x is equal to m. Let me write this over here. So if x minus 1 over x is equal to m, well, what we have here are imaginary solutions with i. So these automatically won't work out. So all we're left with is m equals 3, meaning I have 3 is equal to x minus 1 over x. So to solve this, I'm going to multiply both sides by x. So now I get 3x is equal to x squared minus 1, meaning I get x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 3, and c is 1. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4 times 1 times 1, all over 2 times 1, which is just 2. So I get x is equal to 3 plus or minus 9 minus 4 over 2. And this turns into 3 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2, meaning my two solutions of x are 3 plus the square root of 5 over 2 and 3 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So these are my two solutions to this equation.